Oh, hello, hello! <laughs> Look at this arena! Do you notice any change? But of course, there's not a piece of shit fucking dragon in the middle of it. Let me message my friend that I've beaten the fucking cunt. Let me message my friend. Okay, very good. I fucked that fucking guy up. I fucked him up so fucking bad. Ah, oh, good times. Good times, people. Good times. Let's spend my soul. Let's fetch me the soul. Let's level up. Level up. Level up. Level up. Level up. Let's put it into the exterior. <laughs> just, just because. Actually, let's be foresightful. I will be very foresightful, and I know that I will be fighting many, many a person with l large uh, move sets. So let let me put it into no, no, I'm damage maximizing. Absolutely, it's not worth it at all. What is it scaling? What is it scaling in dexterity actually? D lul. I'm still going for it. A, B, C, D. Oh my fucking god, it's so bad. I'm still going for it. Absolute damage maximization. 80 faith, scaling B. 80 strength, scaling B. And on the only scaling left uh, on dexterity, it, where it has a D, I'm slowly, I'm slowly getting up there. How much damage do I have? 1,083. That's a one billion dollars. Let me read actually this shit now. There was some fucking Bale's heart or fucking some dog shit like that. Heart of Bale, game power of play of the grand altar of Dragon Communion. Dotted with horn like gravel stones and glistening with deep red liquor. Gorge upon this at the grand Zar Bale's power. Mm, yes. The purest form of communion in the words of its priestess. Ooh. 
Where's Priestess of Bale? What the, what the fuck? I don't know, I don't know fucking how that, what I'm doing in the fucking DLC. It's the first story beat. <laughs> this is the first story beat I have of this fucking game. I haven't gone to the first legacy dungeon. I haven't done to this fucking castle. I haven't gone anywhere, man. Like, I, I fucking started exploring and I... And I fucking bolted it straight to the fucking dragon, man. Good. Good. I feel pretty good. More or less. And now... We should go... We should go somewhere. Uh, but I actually... This exploration... Like these graces that you see... I did them all when I was so unbelievable fucking drunk <laughs> that I rem no I rem I remember single fucking thing man. What is, what is this fucking grace actually? Mm. Mm. Not do well. Where am I? Who am I? Oh, this is where the dungeon spits you out. This dungeon. Dragon spit. Dragon spit terminus. I didn't want to do this. Yeah, but where is it again? Oh, it just gets you on the path to the to the volcano. Like, I'm not gonna lie. After bail, I feel so fucking powerful right now. Like, you wouldn't even believe how powerful I feel right now. Like, I feel like I can beat any boss in this DLC. Which, like, they will kick my fucking ass. I'm sure of it. I'm sure some of these bosses will fuck me up again. But, like, I feel it does, doesn't matter anymore. Like, I know I can beat Bale. I bet he was supposed to be, like, the end, end boss, right? You fight your mesmer and you find the fi final story boss, whatever. But then this guy is like, this is the last guy. That's that's what I feel. If that's not the case, then I will get fuck up, fucked up even more, and that's gonna be fucky in its own way. But you know, I feel like I feel I feel I really feel like I can do anything. Your stream is pretty cool. If I follow you, I'll be a fan of yours. If you don't mind, kindly add me. Dude, you can be, you can be whatever fan. I accept all manner of fans. I don't know why would you would be a fan of me. I spent a dragon fucking five days, but I be the fucking thing, man. I be the fucking dragon. Hmm. Let's see. Let's let's start exploring. Yeah. <laughs> It's okay, goatees. Uh, the big dragon is dead. Uh, I killed him just earlier. Oh my god, he's zipping through. He's zipping through fucking electricity. That's the biggest goat I've ever fucking seen. Jesus fucking Christ. You know it's hostile, though. You, kn you know that, though. Time for free. Exactly. Is what I'm saying. You know it's hostile. You know that though, me and Zaki were like, you know, after they beat a big ass dragon, let's just put a go with the dare. Then it will fuck him up the same way. No tunnel ahead, in short, liar, liar. Oh, you fuck, man. That goat is idle though, it doesn't turn around. Which seems like an extreme, like extremely good opportunity, unless it's scripted and she'll turn around once I get close because the DLC has done that a few times already. Ah, <gasps> another one. Ah, <gasps> let's see. <gasps> bitch and bitch. Okay, I was actually pretty close. And it's just a bone from her, so it's not worth it even at all. Okay, well, what do we have here? Is it an NPC? 
Oh, those are just that statures. Those are just statues. <gasps> Skeletons! Spooky, spooky skeletons. Bitch! I have to hit him again! I have to hit him again! Boom! Shut the fuck up, man. What the fuck, what the fuck do you think you're doing, man? Bitch! Donezo. Push! Push! Donezo, I'm telling you. Push! You're done. And I got an Estus flask. <gasps> it's more skeletons, but they have two swords. I bet they are way too aggressive. There's a, there's a new skeleton guy. Ambush ahead, ensure them a human. Okay, like, whoever doesn't notice this fucking ambush, they shouldn't even be fucking playing this game. Like, but at this point, you're in a fucking DLC. At this point, you should be fucking absolutely tuned into all sorts of fucking ambush scenarios. Like, you have no excuse not fucking noticing this shit. He's dead. Boom. Nice guy. Butch. Dead. Next guy. Boom. Dead. Next guy. Oh, that's a big ass dragon. That's a big ass dragon. Is, 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 is that gonna be the altar of communion? Is that actually, actually gonna be the case? Or is that not gonna be, or is that not gonna be the case at all? Find out more on the next episode. Oh, this guy getting absolutely lost again. Because he's going absolutely in the other direction of where the story is happening. Once fucking again, man. I'm horrible at this. But like, you know, the game was... <gasps> Look how far we can go. <sighs> it's amazing. And then those are the fucking hands again. Thank you, Torrent. Oh my gosh, so cool. Look at the wing. We're gonna be traversing the wing of the fucking dragon. What's up there? Seems like little soldiers or just tombstones. Not sure yet. Let's explore some more. But with, before we do, we haven't checked it on the opposite side of the valley that we just crossed. So let's do that first as well. Huh, <gasps> those are spoopy skeletons. Oh no, and this big one. Oh no. Oh, he has a lot of fucking health. Oh no. Genuine fucking oh no. Jesus fucking Christ! Okay. Bitch. Oh. Oh. Let's do this. Let's do this. He's coming! Danger is coming! Danger! <laughs> Look, I'm gonna actually dismount for you, you bitch. And you're getting absolutely fucked, you fucking monkey. Goodbye. Have a good, have a great time. Oh, oh no! Oof. That was close. I almost fucking forgot. Ah, <sighs> and it was definitely worth it for the item I picked up and already forgot what it was. What the fuck? That's an archer. He fell down like a dumbass. Poor guy. I don't actually care about going there. We can just get here if we like to see if there's something happening. Nope, there's nothing here. But the time of day is changing. The wind's howling. The storm is coming. Sorry about the fucking PlayStation control drift. It, it keeps going to the left. Yeah, it is Altar of Communion. 
very cute. Don't tell me we go there. Don't tell me that. Maybe you don't. Maybe you do. Oh my god, I would like to go there. Never mind though. That looked like that literally looked like a havel. Like when I approached it from the side, it seemed like there's a havel waiting around the corner. I was about to fucking I was about to act up, man. Hacha parkour. Is jumping up there? Is jumping up there? Just not. Okay, there's a grace and an altar of communion. Crazy shit. Priestess heart. Oh, priestess heart. That's the bitch they mentioned in the bail item. Uh, 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 uh. But Bale's heart it is here. So where's the fucking priestess heart? Maybe it's a different type of uh, item. Yeah. Turns human frame into an ancient right Oh, that's the uh, dragon transform. The change cannot be undone except by death. Using this heart while already transformed temporarily boosts incantations of capital's ancient dragon cool. Nice. The priestess was once an ancient dragon herself, but sacrificed that form for a feeble flesh to aid in the destruction of Bale the Dread. Ah, oh, so she betrayed him basically. But who is that woman? I shall never know. Shaman Outer. Communion with Bale. Okay, let's see. Ritual Dragon Communion. Ghost flame Ooh, I mean, let's get it. Why not? Come here with Bale. Bale's tyranny. Channels the form of the dread dragon to emit a mighty roar accompanied by a heatwave burst, causing violent eruptions of fire in the area. Even after being consumed, the throbbing heart of Bale continues to resist its subjugation, never weakening. One day, the fire within will consume the very body and soul of its communion to de devour one day. Cool. Bell's Flame Lightning. One of the greatest dragon communion incantations harnesses the fearsome power of Bale the Dread, channels the form of the dead dragon in right arm to smash foes with an exposed talon bone co coursing with flame lightning. Even after being consumed, the throbbing heart of Bale continues to resist. Yeah, yeah, okay, I read that. Very kill, very kill indeed. And I need to, I need to kill him the second time to, to get the head. So fucking cool, man. This game is fucking cool. Cool game. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> very nice. Okay. And let's continue on, my steed. Let's continue in our valorous adventures. None shall stop us. None shall oppose us. For we are the valorant adventurers. And the very fabric of the adventurous spirit itself. Let's go to the dragon item. Harpoon! Alright, I also got fucking weapons. Did I? Did I? Yes, sir. I got this anvil hammer that's in the dungeon. One of the treasures were the forge's tremendous hammer that incorporates uh, as its head the red hot anvil of the forge. It is said that the anvil shape is inspired by that of an altar, and that long ago it was indeed used as such in uh, Rite and Ritual. I miss this one as well. Uh, Reduce mass enhances of uh, blah blah blah. One stone, okay, doesn't matter. Flower stone, get it. The weapon of the dragon community priestess. Dragon stone hammer resembling an ancient flower. The four petals and the flower's core are all sharp, ending in points and are capable of dealing heavy damage to dragons. Wow, I could have picked that up and then used it against the guy that I was fighting for five days. Wow, the been the would have been so good to know. What's in here? 
Oh my god, so beautiful already. It's so beautiful already. The drift is killing me once again. Mm -hmm, I'm dead. Good. I don't care at all, actually. Okay, so, now, I want to try if there's something to the left. And if there's not anything to the left, we can continue on to the right. Yes. No, no. There's just a message, but no item. Come on, man. Come on, man. Oh, they did not expect you to go here. Oh, wait, even though they should. See, in a fucking Mario game, there, 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 there would be a fucking star, man. Can I read this shit? Try dragon. Oh, you're gonna fall. I'm gonna fall. You can go there! Okay, but what is... <clears throat> what is there? It's gonna be like a fucking dungeon. It's gonna, it's gonna be a fucking dungeon. It's gonna be just like that, bitch. It's gonna be just like that. No dragons. Dead dragons. That the wing is fucking massive, man. Can the, the PlayStation Drift not try to kill me for a few seconds? I'm dead. Come. Okay. Doki. Okie doki. Okie doki. So, um, yeah, I'm immediately going to the left. Because I really, I really fucking need to see. Oh, what's cooking there? Can you smell what the rack is cooking? No items here. Let's see the view that the eagle has. Oh, that's a beautiful view. That's a beautiful view. Na, 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 na. I have to stop or I will get copyrighted. I will get copyright issues. Yeah, this is a gorgeous area. Look at this color palette. That's really beautiful. I love this color palette. Red bright flowers. Oh, it reminds me of Dark Souls 3. Ashes of Ariandel. Oh, there are like these red blooms <coughs> in the snowy area. Just reminded me of that. I think the big part, and I was astonished that the, all the colors that I thought were pink before. Oh my god! This world is fucking massive! What do you mean, size of Limgrave? You lying old bastard! This shit is massive! What the fuck did bro mean by that? Fucking Limgrave, man. What a fucking lie. This is massive. I mean, it's kind of a uh, really fucking empty for most of the, for the most part. Okay, so just like a drawback. But like just traversing through the world is like it's beautiful, you know. Like <clears throat> you're fucking going through this fantasy fucking setting. That's beautifully realized. Look at look at this, all of this, and then look at down there where you can go. By all accounts, it seems maybe not there, but at least there somewhere. 
Like, come on, man. Tell me this is not cool. Don't tell me that. Don't fucking tell me that. It's cool as fuck. No? There's gonna be nowhere I'm gonna die because of it. I'm not gonna die, but there was no way, nothing. It's kind of like incredible, yeah. If I would fucking criticize anything, it's like the already copy pasted things, right? But it's a DLC, what can you do? Like the fingers on the beach, like you find such a fucking beautiful beach. We would like there to be at least one new like sea creature, you know, and not the fucking fingers you fought so many times again before in the base game, which doesn't even make sense. Makes sense. Why would they be there? You know what I mean? I wonder how can I how can I get there? Yo? Because you can go here, it seems like a, like the main-ish path. Oh my god! Look at the choreography. I don't know how else to call it. Like uh, cinematography. Or like even better, the... How is it called? Oh my god, he's bubbling, he's bubbling. Okay, can I kill you though? Can I kill you now though? Dead man. Oh, it seems like you can you can go there eventually somehow. Whew. What's down here? It's so beautiful. It genuinely, is gorgeous. Like if FromSoft ever makes an RPG game where you have have actual fucking towns with non-hostile NPCs and shit. I'll be so fucking overjoyous. Like an actual big ass fucking RPG. <gasps> is there gonna be like a boss that looks. You know what it looks like? Like the fucking ship you fight the three or two annoying guys in, uh, in DS2. Look at this! Uh. Crazy shit. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, and you can go down there from there. I could even go there from here. Let's explore the... The drift, the PlayStation drift is killing me. It's making the camera all jaggedy. Oh my god, it's this guy again. Oh, but now he's gonna be doing 12 trillion fucking damage. You know that though. At least he was like a normal enemy and not a boss, but... Interesting. Head on pop a hat. Boom. Nope. There has never been a single hidden path that looked like that. Even when you look back, it's fucking gorgeous. Look at this shit. So gorgeous. What's in here? A little deer. But nothing more. Wait, what is that? Gravekeeper's brain pen? <laughs> what? Was it actual uh, fucking helmet or no? It, 
It wasn't. It was an item? No. <sighs> upgrade, it wasn't an upgrade. Material. Mainly found a hidden grave of Charo. Old grave keepers are boatsmen. And s to summon the dead even after withering away. Oh. Okay, so at least a nice little lore explanation of why the boat guy was there. Sure. That, 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 that makes it genuinely good. Right? If, to ha you, if you have to copy paste, just justify it, explain it somehow. Those are basics of uh, basics of game design, honestly. Other than just like, oh, there's five of those guys. That's uh, what. <laughs> what is that? Who does who does the bro think he is? Fucking Garman. Just nonchalantly fucking waiting in that field. And he's gonna turn around once I get. Get behind him. This is one of the scripted ones, I bet. He's a healthy fucker. How was that not a backstab? It doesn't matter though. Oh, they just dropped from the sound of me <laughs> fighting him, but they didn't have the range to like realize, oh, we should go there. What is this? A ghost flame glow. That sounds not important. That sounds like something that we could read. Uh, on the fair of the grave, the grave violet, all but incorporated burns without so much as a sound. Okay, nice write up, but. Uh, <laughs> too cool this game man. It's too cool. That is pro that's his problem man. Game just too cool. Oh <gasps> that's a big bird. That's a big boy. And he's surrounded by twenty other ones. Okay, maybe he looks like a statue. That's a shame. I think, genuinely, to add more vari variety, you can fucking make him bigger. You can literally just do that. You can make him bigger and make him do more damage. You know, you cannot do that too many times. You can you can do that. Like, of course, it makes sense. There will be, like, these, these king main fucking birds. You know, like, queen bee and shit like that. You could do that with a fucking bird. Everyone will get that. You can do that once or twice. Knowing Elden Ring, they will do it like six times, but sh you know, you know what I mean. British, British flower, British flower. Okay, so we explore the waterfall, and for the future, I will remember that I stopped at the waterfalls, where we fought the boatsman. What is that? That's a gravestone. I thought it was some unique boss. I will remember that we stopped at the gravestones. And we shall go down where the map is as well. Which is gonna be very nice. Oh, the blue fields, man. The blue fields. I think I prefer the red ones, but the blue fields are very very gorgeous as well. The blue the blue fields are very gorgeous as well, is what I'm saying. Look at dash, man. Look at look at look at look at these blue shirts, man. They're so blue and dash. Okay, is there an item here? Tell me, please tell me. Try jumping. Sure. Can you tell me something? Yes, there is an item, gold one. We're going for it. Come. Said cerulean coast. <gasps> There's another fucking big. The tree is moving so violently. Okay, what is what is the art town? Tell me what it is. Grave, or that's a it's like a Titan up slab, but for ashes, right? Okay. 
Now what do we have here? All right, all right, all right. Ooh, deep purple. That's a turtle. That's a tortoise. I love how simple such a impactful artistic change can be. You know, like literally uh we yeah, have put uh put blue flower in. Put blue flower. You know? Because the rest when you look at it, the rest is fucking identical. You know what I mean? The same assets, the same trees. There's nothing that much different but like it's uh, this time though, this time, it's a blue flower, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a blue flower. And it makes a genuinely big impact, look how gorgeous this is. You know, make it bright, make it like uh, the non-invasive fucking flowers, like... What the fuck is that, that's a ball of lightning. Like, make it like one of the sweet, very sweet, kind flowers. And make it extremely bright, bright blue. And uh, people will fucking eat that shit up. You cannot lock on on that shit. That's splendid to fucking know that there's this just environmental ball. I was just talking about non-invasive kind flowers to enjoy the scenery and environment. <gasps> the fucking hot. No way. It's not a hut, it's an elevator. But holy shit, I need to go there. Oh, this, that, that will be like the closest you will get to the ocean, I think, ever in Elden Ring, no? Like, to the, like, actually raging waves. <clears throat> from which there are, from which raging boners will arise. Yes. Yeah. yeah, sure, let's go there, why not? What do we have here? Sure, I shall acquire this material, and I shall, I shall acquire this one too. Hmm. Hello, my little derpies. There's more and more of them. It makes me feel like once I get to the end of this uh, peninsula. And they will all aggro on me. That seems like something that uh, could be done. My skybox, damn. And it starts raining. See, now you just combine like systemic details. Unless it's designed to be this sort of weather when you arrive specifically in this fucking place. Or just like, just like very moody. Look how moody this shit is. Look at the giant throwing shit at me. That's very cool as well, actually. Oh, there's gonna be another one. No, there's not. Interesting. Please. <sighs> okay. Ooh, hefty cracked pot. Another one. I still have no idea what they quite do. I'm just very bad at reading. 
I'm in me mom's car. Broom broom. Get out of me car! Oh. Okay, so now we go up here. Bye bye. That was so fucking worth it. Why is it always futile? That's what I'm saying though. That's what I'm saying though. Okay, jump up here. Now. I almost died. I almost fucking died. Hop, hop. Oh no, that's not. That's no good. It seems like I cannot get up, Mr. Brickle. Ooh, I get up, Mr. Brickle. Uh, but it was completely worthless. There has to be some boss, right? There, ha there just has to be. In a bit, I will see like a Mari Marika's, uh, what is it? Marika's idol? Or what the fuck is it called? Um, uh, I know will be like a confirmation that there's a, there's a bas bas basharino. There's a basharino in this arena. America's Idol. Okay, first of all, from software really just said like, okay, create one of the most beautiful array areas ever. On a fucking peninsula or whatever if I can it's called in English. A fucking massive hall. <gasps> In the middle that you can descend into. Oh my god, that's what they actually said. I'm literally, I, I was I was swallowing my words. They really just said that shit. Didn't they? That's fucking incredible. I'm taking everything back. Yep, I literally am. That's one of the coolest things I've ever seen in my entire life. Look how big this fucking hall is. Of course I'm fucking going in. Holy fuck. This is so exciting. <laughs> I feel like this is most of fucking my Elden Ring experience. I'm just trashing on the game. And then the game is like, bitch please. And I'm like, oh no. You know. Bro, but this is like kind of this is kind of like incredible, right? You all seeing the shit that I'm fucking seeing, that I'm doing. It's fucking incredible, right? Right? Like I know it is. Like I know it is fucking incredible, and it's still raining into his hole. This shit is so fucking cool. Whoever thought of this was fucking cooking, man. And such a bait as well of like, oh no, there's not a boss here. But this, this, there's this thing that's probably 100 times cooler than any boss could be. Dude, they were fucking cooking with this shit. Like, holy fuck. What's gonna be down here? Again, that's such a cool introduction. The fucking Bale had an introduction where you go up and up and up and up the volcano. And this has an introduction where I'm like, what the fuck is gonna be here, man? Wait, what? Ah, uh, sealed and obscured by Mikola.
No. No. Oh, it's an open world game, man. Just fucking embrace it. Let me finish it in two boxes, you know. There's no need for this. There's no need for this, brother. That's so sad. How excited was I in the past fucking five minutes? I sounded probably like a fucking little kid, you know. Mm. That's so sad, man. And now the only option to get out of here is to teleport. Which I don't like as well. Ah. Oh. Oh man. Oh. oh. What the fuck is this? That's a dragon. It's many dragons actually. This shit is so sad, man. Kind of sad. But like fucking fucking what can you do? Okay, so where are we teleporting? To the Great Communion again and I'll have to run I'll have to run like here again, I guess. Actually I'm taking a break, this kind of oh it's not because of this, it's just I beat the fucking dragon, let me eat, let me do all sorts of shit. I'll stream it uh, in the evening again. Uh, that sounds like a good that sounds like a good plan. I have 20 hours in the DLC already. And I haven't been to a single I haven't been to a single legacy dungeon. Another one. Unless they count the volcano as a legacy dungeon, which they shouldn't. Like I see one. Maybe not like a sedan, but I see second very big thing here. And there I guess would be a third or second one here. Interesting, how excited Well now I'll go off and see you.